Hello everyone, it's me Dragilordy. Welcome to our Halloween video, one of two videos, don't worry, the second one is going to be a little more interesting. And uh, today we will be uh, rating uh, Halloween video game events, because I thought it would be fun. Uh, Bog was unavailable for this video, so I decided I'm going to drag along uh, also tough, since uh, I have a feeling that you're going to enjoy his energy. So, have fun! Yeah, okay. So, welcome everybody. How, how should I even introduce this? I don't know. How do you want to introduce it? <laughs> introduce like a Mr. Beast video. Hello, we everyone. thought we would rate a bunch of games! I don't know any of these games, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm sure you do. Okay. I'm sure you do know these games. Everything Anyways, is so okay. pixelated. We're just going to be rating games based on how good I, we think they do the Halloween events, okay? So, okay. I, I, I took a bunch of games. Most of them I knew. Uh, you, get, you gave me three games. We start off with Scream Fortress, which is a TF2 version of Halloween. Okay. Uh, Scream Fortress adds a lot of gimmick maps, which changed the game completely. Allows for basically free cosmetics, some that are Halloween restricted, some that are not. But did anyone and ask? It's generally the peak of TF2's lifetime. So, how would we rate Scream Fortress? <laughs> alright, alright. Um, so, Team Fortress 2, base game, shit. Uh, I don't know what people find in that game. I imagine what, <laughs> do, what, what do they do around Halloween? They had some Halloween emotes that we've had every year? Generally, Scream Fortress is the tip of activity for Team, Team Fortress, so if you want to have the peak enjoyment of Team Fortress, I understand that Halloween's when I app. Wait, really? Yes. Uh, I'm going to have to rate this bottom tier then. I mean, I generally think it's really good as an event, but... So, what, what's I give the... it a high rating, What you give it a low rating, so I guess we're going to put it in the middle somewhere. Okay. C. C, because it's average. Okay, okay. So, next one is Multiverses, your your favorite game, as we understand. Which, I looked at the Halloween event, and, of course, the comments are probably going to rage at me, but as I understand, because I did not play it, the main thing that they did for the event is add a few skins, and only one of which you can get as a free-to-play, which is really What skin is scummy. it? Wait, 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 what skin is it? I think it's the dogs. The dogs? Yeah, the bl the green blue dog. This is the one you suggested. I suggested way. Clash of Clans. I've never played any Clash game in my entire life. <laughs> and you suggested it. I so assume I they have to have that kind of stuff, those fucking Facebook-ass <laughs> so, games. I mean, yes, Clash of Clans does have a Halloween event. Uh, what does it do? I don't know. They probably allow you to spend more money around the holidays. They're like, oh, we have a 25% off deal on gems or some shit. I don't know, but I okay. know I'm right. Thankfully, I actually know a bit about Clash of Clans. Okay, saved. Uh, yeah, I'm going to save you here. Clash of Clans, uh, it, basically, Clash of Clans has this like thing where you build castles and make armies to attack other people, right? So, what Clash of Clans does during Christmas and Halloween is that they introduce limited time troops to attack people with. And during Halloween, you can get the giant skeleton. And I forgot the other one, but there's also a spell called the skeleton graveyard spell. I'll be obviously, I don't know, it's kind of meh. More than multiverses, though. Yeah, it is. I'd say that's that's even with Fortress. I'd say even. that's C. I mean, they don't have a game game mode or new maps, but okay. Well, okay. to replace it, they have, like, you, you actually can spice up your, how you attack people. True, true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next one. Animal Crossing. <laughs> which, is, which, which I'm pretty sure most people know what Hall Halloween Animal Crossing means. No. It's basically... I never played Animal Halloween. Crossing. Oh. Well. Ten. Okay, so. First of all, Animal Crossing is a life sim. So, the world constantly change around, changes around you uh, as you survive and live in the world with your cuddly friends uh and what it comes with uh, animal crossing halloween is that you can grow pumpkins and you can use those pumpkins to craft a bunch of like halloween decorations and shit so Minecraft. and uh, it, and then the build up to the main halloween event is basically that you can buy candy every day 
and you can buy costume parts like to make a Halloween costume. And then on the 31st of October, which is upcoming, uh, you can dress up as some kind of monster and then share candy with your fellow animals in Animal Crossing. And it improves the relationships you have with the characters. It's generally fairly cute. It's and the saddest thing I've ever heard in my life. You... So, yeah. So, you're telling me on Halloween some people are just spending time sharing candy with fake people, fake furries, and their fake world? <laughs> I, I have no idea how many people... I'm sure there's someone who uses that. I, I've missed literally every single one of those events like that I've been up to now. You talked about I've it like out. it was something, you know, like, you can share c candy with your cuddly friends. I, I watched the fucking Nintendo Directs about it. That's why oh, I know. okay. So that's about <laughs> as much information as we're going to give about any of these events. Is <laughs> so you can watch it in a two-minute video. We're going to over-explain it in our horribly translated way. Yes, yes, this is a crossing, so I, I, I'd say D tier. I mean, it's, it's literally it's better than just skins. That's not, it sounds better than it sounds B to me. Sounds why do you D. think it? Why do you think it's D? It doesn't do much. What doesn't do much? The Animal Crossing events. It's compared you know. to Clash of Clans, though. Uh, okay, fair enough. Because you can share candy and stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So, next one is also one of mine. Oh, there's actually a bunch of mine, so. Uh, here is Spiral Knights, the Spooky Hallows, which is a very old game, and people know that I have a video on it, and I love this game. Okay. I have a very special place in my heart for it. And during Halloween, special mobs throughout the entirety of October, special mobs spawn in the uh, arcade, which is basically a very big dungeon, uh, start uh, dropping like Halloween candy pits. And there's like, I think there's like four or five varieties of the candy. And you can use those candy to trade in for loot boxes, free loot boxes, which contain literally anything. So you can get genuinely like really good things that are worth money. Plus the, uh, as always with events, in Spire Nights, it changes the entire hub area to be very spooky. You know, that's, uh, I mean, it has a lot of charm, but it's, uh, I don't know, It's I say it's, it's it's about does a similar amount that uh, Clash of Clans would do. Okay. You you rate it there then? I, I have no take, I've never even heard of this game. It's my, this is my kind of rate. I would say it's above Clash of Clans because it's, it's not Clash of Clans. Okay. <laughs> that, that's everything. <laughs> All right, next game. Next game is Monster Hunter World. Never played it. I uh, I mean I played it. Monster Hunter has to have something sick for its events. It better. What 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 does it have? Oh no. Uh, they change up the multiplayer hub area and they give you every every day they give you spooky tickets, <laughs> which you can use in to trade. And craft special armor and costumes with. And that's basically it. Bro, put that shit in fucking... Okay, it it's still slightly more than multiverses. D tier? Yes. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Uh, this is the Pumpkin Bash, which is the current Halloween event for World of Tanks. Which, uh, I don't play that game a lot. Okay. I did end up checking it out because, you know... Halloween events. And the basic is you get a new game mode. There's King of the Hill, but with two points. And then you can buy spells and shit to use during battle. You can get... No bitches? Like uh, tank operators as rewards for the event. A few skins here and there. It's, pre it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So okay. I would say C tier above uh, Spire Knights, but below Scream. Actually, maybe above Scream Fortress. Got it. Alright, so this is the Fortnite Mayor, which I looked up because you said Fortnite has a Halloween event. I have to look it up too because I, I didn't know if they did or not. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Uh, Fortnite Mayor. Oh, oh, you know what they do? I know what they do. Okay. Let me watch a video on it. They got chainsaws. They're chainsawing you got, people. You got chainsaws. 
They're Fortnite dancing. They there's furries. Oh shit, you can actually turn into werewolves? That's all. Wasn't that like the entirety of Ninja skin? Like Ninja was a furry in the Fortnite. I know Fort Nightmares is I, like even a couple years ago was pretty cool, like spawning zombies in the map and stuff. I oh. mean, today that kind of seems lame, I think, but th at that time, when like games weren't really doing events at all, especially in battle royales, when you could like fight zombies. Now it's like there's NPCs all over the place. But interesting, um, zombies. Okay. But you can all. But it seems that this event you can like pick up a werewolf item, become a werewolf, and s slice people up. Hmm. Um, but they're always doing something. I, I can't lie, Fortnite's always pretty banger with their events. They, they put in some work. Still, I, I don't, I don't care what anybody says about Fortnite, they still put in, like, more work than I think a lot of companies that should be putting in more work do. <coughs> Destiny. Um. Oh, you have something to say about Destiny, that's upcoming. I'd probably put any Fortnite event in B. E, okay, 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 I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll trust you on this. Because I don't know much about it. So, this this here. Do you recognize it? No. Uh, this picture is of a farmer monkey from Bloons Tower Defense 6. And it, that's a Reaper skin for the Balloon Monkey. Yeah, I don't play Balloon games. Uh, I, well, I, I like the game. Take okay, what do they time. do for Halloween? What, do they have Halloween balloons? Uh, yes. Is that it? <laughs> no, the, okay, the Halloween events so far have introduced a new boss, uh, an entire set of spooky skins, you can buy background music for your uh, album inside of the game, so there's like a mixtape that plays music. Do you spend real money on it? Uh, no. Can you spend real money on it? Uh, uh no. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you have to buy the game, that's basically it. Okay, got it. <laughs> well... Balloons, F tier. F tier? I hate balloons. Come on. <laughs> it's not just skins. I say D tier. Yeah, do whatever tier. I, I actually don't have a take. Whatever, this is Destiny. The festival right, of... Festival of the Lost? Lost? Now, they've been doing this but... shit for like uh, quite a few years now. They actually do. They change up their hub. They change up the music. They usually add some kind of like... Uh, like they, all their quests kind of turn wholesome. The enemies you fight can, like, drop candy, and then you can use that candy to uh, sell and, I think, buy, like, fun Halloween costumes, and you can, like, earn a bunch of different masks. Um, sounds, a, sounds a bit like uh, the Monster Hunter one, but just upgraded. Yeah, I know. Dude, they used to go... Destiny used to go all out for their events. Maybe they still kind of do now. I don't know. Event has missions, hub, hub changes, doesn't have costumes. It's crazy. That I think they, they have more than that, too. They actually add, like, expand on the lore. Because, like, Festival of the Lost. Lore? Yeah, Destiny has, like, some deep-ass, actual, well-written lore that's just not in the game. Because shit game. But the lore that, that's that been, like, written for it for years has always been, like, really good. And so that's, like, an event within the, the story, too. Mm -hmm. And so it holds some stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, they really do make the event not only just feel like, oh, we're doing this for Halloween, but also, like, it gives you, it, it immerses you more in the world to see that the event is being celebrated by people in the game as well as out. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm going to put it up there with Fortnite. I, you know what, that sounds, actually, I'll be straight up with you, that sounds really good. I'd say A tier. Maybe even S tier. Hell yeah. Oh, I forgot that, that a couple years ago, you could bake cookies. But, okay, S tier. <laughs> so, next up, we have Dire Tide, which is not exactly seasonal, but it is a Halloween event. Tired Died? Dire Tide. Oh. Which is an event prongling to Dota. And, uh, <laughs> but the thing is with Dota, when they do events, and like events and seasons and all that shit, 
they spent the entire fucking year working on that one event and new game modes, skins, uh, auras, fucking you can literally just get temporarily turn your fucking heroes into ghosts characters. They every time they have a big event like this, they include an Arcana skin as well. They change the look of all of the abilities, give new voice lines, completely new. Uh, they okay. say new things and the voice lines include having new interactions with other characters so that's a lot of voice lines because there's about like 120 characters in dota so <laughs> that's, that's a lot of interactions <laughs> okay all right all right all right fine i'll give it to you uh, uh, i agree no, it was wherever you put it i would say maybe so at least at the uh, upper part of the tiers so what 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 I? W I'm asking for your input. Well, okay, we gotta we gotta think about this. <sighs> the voice lines are are the main thing. That's like that's a lot of fucking work. That's uh, the, yeah, the, every single year as well. I would say and uh, this uh, the, uh, this year there's also a dire tide. Uh, the dire tide is gonna be a bit late. It's gonna be on November this time. Uh, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> B. Is that Krunker that's next? Uh, this is Unturned. Oh shit, dude, that game's still around. I haven't played that in like seven years. Uh, I haven't played it either, but I do remember what they did for Halloween. I th isn't that already a zombie game? So what do they do? Uh, every single fucking year, there was the same F. Halloween loot loot box with a bunch of Halloween skins F. here and there. F tier. Yeah. This is Overwatch. The uh, Overwatch had the uh, fucking okay. I'll be straight up. I don't. I don't play Overwatch. Neither do I. I'm gonna. I'm gonna base what I'm gonna say now off of what other people have told me about Overwatch. These are uh, some people who have actually played Overwatch. So, as I've understood, there's this character called Junkins, uh, Jun Junkster. Or whatever, and there's this other character called Junkenstein, and Junkenstein is this big bad guy, and they made an made an event game mode around him. Okay. And then every single fucking year, they kept recycling the same game modes and not even giving any new maps. Okay. That's it. <laughs> and then there's there's a bunch oh. of like Halloween skins. Some characters have pumpkin heads, and that's basically it. Well, Overwatch 2 came out in October. That's basically a Halloween game. That means you the game is technically correct. That means the game is basically entirely Halloween. S tier. S tier. <laughs> you said S tier. I've never played Overwatch. Of course, S tier. Are you? Are you? I would say <laughs> fucking bottom tier. Maybe above pump balloons. This is the most ignorant tier list I've ever been a part of in my life. This is uh, Don't Stop the Getter. Hallow's Eve. Uh, I mean, it used to be good, but now it's kind of fallen off. I would say it's A tier. Hello, I would like to budge in before we leave this video off and say that uh, I am very thankful for having you guys guys around because uh, as the uh, year comes to a close, I have realized that I started this year off with around 60 subscribers joining me and on my march, and now we have almost reached 200 subscribers. It's a little bit uh, hanging in on there, moving back and forwards, but uh, I would like to thank you all for coming along, and uh, I hope you had the most wonderful and scrumptiously exquisite Halloween. Uh, if you are still watching this as when the video came out, then I hope you will have a scrumptiously amazing Halloween in the near future. There is another Halloween video planned where I play a horror game. So keep your eyes out for that. Anyways, thank you.